Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you another one of my videos for Pokemon trading card game openings. Today we have a really big one for you. For those of you that have been watching past videos, you may have noticed that in a lot of my videos, I had a wall of Hatterene Vs in the background. Much like right now, I have a wall of Pikachu Vs. I always have like a certain number of something. Like I go out of my way to a lot of retail stores to try to find some Pokemon stuff so that I can make more videos for you guys. And I'll use newer product as a wall for the background. And this kind of foreshadows for you what will eventually come in the future. Well, I've had these Hatterene Vs in the background for a while now. Three of them, just like I have the Pikachus in the background right now. I actually have four. So I have four of these Hatterene V boxes. And I have one of these double V boxes. So uh, that's a lot of Champion's Path. And Champion's Path is the least complete of all my collections because all the Champion's Path stuff that I've been buying has mostly been these V boxes and I've been using them for a background. So I've been really wanting to get into them because it's very unrepresented. I'm actually gonna put a quick screenshot of my app on the screen right now, poof, so that you can see just in a snapshot, the percentage of completion for all of my sword and shield sets and what they currently look like. And you can see how low Champion's Path is. So back to me. <laughs> So I really want to get into this, so bear with me. I'm going to start opening these up, and we're going to open a ton of Champion's Path today. Okay, I got all 20 packs out of the collection boxes. Let's get to it. I think the hardest part of today's video is just opening all those boxes. That was a lot of boxes. All right, Lightning Energy is going to start us off. Arbok. Pop, Rotom, Hatterene, Rockruff, Potion, Pokeball, Caravan, a Lanoon is my reverse, and then a Lycanroc Hollow for my rare. Not the worst uh, rare to start us off. Now as far as chase cards go, what I'm looking for in this set, obviously... You guys, by this point, should know what the really big cards are, but I, I mean just about everything. Because like I said, I've barely opened any of the Champion's Path packs. It's by far the least opened pack of cards that I have. Oh, shiny energy. Very fancy. Oh, and then the hop full art trainer. Okay. This was a good pack. I will take that. And believe it or not, I have opened hundreds and hundreds of packs for... I'm actually going to put you right over here. You're going to go off to the side there, Shiny Energy. Oh, I'm, I'm good omens. I'm hoping I'm going to fill the back wall. I have opened hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of packs for the various Sword and Shield sets and I've never gotten a shiny energy of any kind so I'm actually pretty excited about that because I've been really wanting to have that and I've been starting to wonder like am I ever going to get these like do I need to like go out there and find people selling shiny energies like I really wanted it to make its way into my collection and I just was not pulling any of them so I will absolutely take that a shiny Psychic Energy is pretty cool. Turfield Stadium is the reverse, and then an Obstagoon is my hollow rare. So far, we've gotten two hollow rares at least, instead of just regular rares, and the hop, so. It's not terrible. One could do worse. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Got some metal there. Rotom, Sharpenio, Piers, Machop, Ekans, Swablu, Inke, 
Katarina. Arbok is my reverse. And then a Marnie Hollow. Jeez, are there any non hollow rares in this set? Fighting, Hatterene, Rotom, Turfield, Hatterena, MK, Weedle, Linoon, Carvana, another Arbok Reverse, and a Lycorac Hollow. Jeez. I will say that because there's so few cards in Champion's Path, like there's some really, really good cards in Champion's Path, like some really sought after cards. Um,. So, generally speaking, people really like the set, but it's also been out for a little while now. So, I don't see as many videos of Champion's Path, because I kind of feel like everyone that's a hardcore collector either got what they wanted or has given up by this point. <laughs> um, but in terms of opening the set, we got a rare for... Well, look at that. I love when they do that. <laughs> that's always fun. Um, as far as how the set goes there's so few cards it's kind of weird because you know obviously you're looking for various ultra rares and stuff but you're gonna get you know the the pull rates are actually okay in this set but because there's such a small number of commons and uncommons or even just regular rares because it's, it's obviously by far the smallest set in terms of how many cards are in it, you're going to get a ton of copies for your bulk and end up with like a thousand of each rare if you're, you know, pulling for the harder to get cards. So it can get frustrating trying to collect champion's path and i have not really gone that far out of my way to look for packs of it if i see it like when i saw all these hatterines like three out of four of these hatterine v boxes that i have i bought them all at the same time uh it was before target had their new rule where they only open cards uh, or sell cards every friday at 8 a.m uh so it was before that. It was just like, <laughs> it was back when you had random luck to grab something. And I saw that they were doing a restock in Target. So I ran in there. But the people, they didn't, it wasn't a very big restock. And the people ahead of me bought mostly everything. Actually, they were pretty respectful because it was a really small restock. And so the people that were up ahead. Even the resellers, like it was a couple guys that I know for a fact are resellers and it's what they do. But they were like, ah, there's barely anything here. Like leave some for the other people. And I was last in line. So the only thing that was left when I got up there was three of, of those Hatterveen V boxes. So it was literally all I could buy because everything else was gone. So I just bought those. And yeah, so I've had those for, I don't even know, like a month now. I've definitely used them in, a, in the background of a lot of my videos. If you go back and look, like you'll see them in a lot of videos. They made for a good backdrop. And honestly, like <laughs> the the Pikachu Vs, like those are very prevalent now. Whenever I go to a Target restock, they always have like a thousand of them. There's plenty of those going around. And obviously, Shining Fates is a really fun and exciting set. So. Those are a lot of fun to open, but I have high hopes for the Champion's Path because it's, again, it's been so long since I've been able to open any and I've opened so little. This is also, by the way, the first video with my new camera. I haven't even talked about that yet. So I'm sure you guys have noticed as you're watching how quickly everything focuses automatically 
from the cards to the background. So we got a real camera. We got a Sony ZV-1. So before this, the my webcam is still the same for my face. That's always been the uh, Logitech uh, like 922 or whatever. So it's a good, um, good enough webcam. It's just my face. Like how much, how good does my face cam need to be? Nobody wants to see this. But the card camera has always been my phone. And uh, I had an app installed on my phone where you could connect your phone via Wi-Fi to a computer or a laptop or whatever and use it like a camera. And it worked okay, but sometimes it would randomly get like delays or freeze because it's going over Wi-Fi. Um, like if you watch my live stream particularly that I did for my birthday, so that go back to the live stream from April 12th, because April 12th is my birthday. And that's when you would see, like, if you watch that live stream, you'll see sometimes the camera would, like, slow down or freeze. And then, like, like go really fast to catch back up to, like, where I was at in real life, like, in real time. Um, and my wife really wanted a new camera just for taking, you know, family videos and photos. But of course she was like, well, hey, if we get this camera, then you could use it for your setup too. So here we are. And I definitely like it so far. Like it's super smooth and the quality is great. And the autofocus is stupendous. And I really, not that I minded having, oh my God, another shiny energy. I've literally never got any shiny energies and now we have two. How fun. Oh my gosh. You go right there. That's great. I've already got two of them now. Gone from no shining energies to two. But yeah, it's pretty sick. I really like it. I think I think it's gonna work out. It's actually the camera's so crazy that like when I when it switches from like when my hands are in front of it to when it's looking at the background, it actually switches modes completely. It's not just autofocusing. It's going from <clears throat> it's going from macro to portrait like that quickly. So it's a pretty sick, pretty sick. I think it's going to definitely help. Oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. The second good pull of the day. We haven't gotten any Vs, Vmaxes, nothing. And we get another Hop Full Art Trainer. Wow. Wow, Champion's Path. That is something else, I'll tell you what. That is something else. I love the trainers. I'm actually a big fan of the full art trainers. And in some situations, I actually prefer the trainers over even like Pokemon cards. I think some of the full art trainers are really cool. And I'm glad that, you know, they have stuff like that. The like more special trainer cards. But like, there's some pretty sick Pokemon in this set. And even just like... Again, like we haven't even... Like we haven't pulled like just a regular V or a V Max, let alone like any... You know, secret rares or, you know, alternate full arts or whatever. Like, all we've been pulling is normal cards. And then we get a second. I mean, other than the two energy cards. Like, we get a second hop. Like, <laughs> that's pretty whack. That's pretty whack. So, you guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think of my new camera. When you guys watch like Pokemon videos, like do you look for the quality in the videos, or are you more just looking at like the types of packs that they're opening? Because like me personally, like obviously I care about what they're opening, but like when I'm watching Pokemon stuff, like if they have like a really janky setup where like the camera is particularly bad, or if the lighting is particularly bad, like I'm actually not 100% thrilled about my lighting. It's something that I'm still working on. Lighting is tricky and can be expensive if you're trying to fix it with more product. But like placing it so that there's like a limit to like how many shadows you have and everything else, like that can be kind of tricky. Um, so I'm doing the best that I can with what I have right now. But yeah, like if I like if there's like a huge like dark shadow where it's like almost like I can't see, I can't really create too dark of a shadow because I, I obviously there's shadows, but like I have enough lights that it gets like washed out but i've seen it before 
where you literally can't see. Hey, there we go. All right. There's a uh, full art Gardevoir V. At least we finally got a Pokemon. I will take that. Um, but yeah, I, let me know what you, what you guys, like, how you, like, if you even care about stuff like that. I imagine some people are more just interested in the pulls, but to a certain degree, you have to appreciate like a quality setup, you know, like you want, you want everything to be, you know, easy to see, legible, you want to be able to hear the person without a problem, you know, hopefully they have a decent camera, a decent mic, and I've been slowly but surely improving my setup, like now I got the new camera, like a couple weeks ago I got a new uh, microphone, that'll pick me up better at a distance so that I can have it out of the way, so that like my hands, you know what I mean, because I need to obviously be able to move my hands around because I'm opening cards. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if that's something that you care about or not. I'm always curious to get your opinion on stuff. And this is officially the last pack. 20, 20 packs. 20 packs of Champion's Path. We have three full arts, two trainer, one Pokemon, and two of the shining energy cards, which I am still excited about because again, I've never pulled any, so it's nice to get a couple. But this is this is it. This is my last chance to get something really exciting. And I feel like out of 20 packs, we should have got more than this by now. I've heard the pull rates are pretty decent for this, so um Maybe we're just severely unlucky. Ah. Crap lock V. So we got a regular V card to finish it up. At least we got something slightly, slightly special. All right. Oh my gosh. I forgot to do the middle of the video card. Boom. Everyone's going to be something special that you can't just get from a pack. And this one is like sort of a promo card. Kind of. Kind of weird. I'm not really sure what the deal with that code is, but there you go. We'll do a recap, and then I'll give you the final code of the day. I just totally forgot about it. I got wrapped up in what I was doing. But yeah, the two energies, not too bad. The one regular V that we literally just pulled, which I'll take it. Um, the art's actually pretty cool on that. And the one full art V that we got, which now that I'm looking at it closer, the centering's a little bit off. It's a little bit higher. You know, there's more space. There's a larger gap on the bottom than the top. Um, but interestingly, the on the back, it's pretty clean, and I don't see any whitening or anything. So if I was going to get one of those graded, that would definitely be a good candidate for a 10. It's probably a 9.5. And, and then the two hops, which both of those actually look pretty solid on the centering. I, I Honestly, either one of those would be a 9.5 to a 10 if I were to get them graded. So... There you go. There is my Champion's Path pulling. I, like I said before, I've been wanting to do that for a while now, so I'm glad that I finally got that done. I've just had a huge stack of these V-boxes along with the Pikachus that were in the background. <laughs> it was just sitting on my floor in my office, like hip height of just all these uh, cards. So I'm glad to finally start digging into some of them because I have tons of other stuff to open. Um, but... Yeah, this Champions Pass stuff has been elusive. So I have a I have a video coming up very soon. It may even be the video after this. Depends on how quickly I get the merchandise. But I have a controversial video coming up in the probably in the next episode. And some of those packs, I believe, are Champions Path, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I'm going to be doing a video where we dig into weighted packs. And I know this is a controversial subject um some people are adamantly against people weighing packs selling weighted packs um if you don't know really quick the idea is that if a pack weighs slightly more than other packs then there's an increased chance that it has a special card like a full art or something like that because of the material that's used to make those cards is slightly heavier we're talking you know 0.1 grams of weight heavier 
uh, but that little bit of a difference could mean a better card. So people are willing to pay extra money for a pack that is weighted heavy. So I found a couple reputable sellers on eBay, bought some heavy packs, and we're going to open them and see what we get and kind of talk about the controversy behind it. Like, should people even be doing this uh, and your opinions on it? So keep an eye out for that. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon. That's the quickest way to find out about stuff like that. And if you're into the TCGO codes, then look, this one's going to come out this camera. Boom, TCGO code. Slightly buried because that camera's not as good. Um, <laughs> um, if you're into those things, like I'm going to be throwing more codes at you than virtually any other YouTuber out there. I love putting in extra codes. I love posting codes on my Twitter, my TikTok. Um, there's tons of stuff over there as well. So make sure you hit the bell icon and you go and check out those other things because you obviously, if you're into codes, you want to be the first one here. I'm posting videos regularly every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and sometimes I throw in like a bonus one over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. So thanks for coming out, everybody. Check all that stuff out as it's popping off, and I will see you in the next one.